Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I have my first ever art journal with me video which I'm so excited for. If you guys have been on my channel for a while you've probably heard me either talk about or show you guys my art journal before but I've never just sat down and done a full dedicated journal with me video so I'm definitely still trying to figure out how to film it and all of those kind of things so please forgive me if it's not the best art journaling video you've ever seen and also in terms of how long I've been doing this it's only been a couple months so I could still improve so much more. To me this is just a hobby and something that I could sit and do for hours and hours but I've had so many requests of you guys asking me to show you how I journal, what supplies I use, all sorts of things. So I don't think I mentioned this in the actual video portion but this is my art journal and it is just a visual art diary from probably Officeworks I think but you can probably get these any craft stores at Officeworks, any place like that. I really like having the spiral but I know a lot of art journal people do not <laughs> so it's probably just personal preference but the paper in this is pretty thick so that's why I really like the visual art journals. I definitely will do a flip through once I have done the whole journal like once it's all full but I still have about half a journal to go so you guys can look forward to that. As for today I'm going to show you guys how I created this spread here. I showed you guys all the supplies I use, the techniques I use, how I go from just a blank piece of paper to a final spread. It's all in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. Hey guys voiceover Rachel here. I have not done a voiceover in probably years, so this is a bit odd for me, so forgive me if I don't really know what I'm saying. But here I am just going through all of the books that I own. I have this little box full of scrap pieces of paper from magazines, from anything that I've collected. I thrift all of my books. I just look for the photography or the gardening or the travel section. Any books that have a lot of pictures or photos in them. And at the moment, I'm just flicking through them all and picking out anything that looks like it could be used on my spread, I guess. So after I've pulled out a bunch of things that I think look cute or could be made into a spread, I cut them all out. At how satisfying are these cutting clips? I don't know why I like watching myself just cut pieces of paper, but it just seems so satisfying. A lot of this video seems very satisfying to me, which is why I like watching these types of videos. Well, one of the reasons. So after I've decided which pictures I wanted out of the books and I've cut them into a size that I like, I kind of just go through and start placing them on my page and see which ones I actually want to use in this specific spread. If I don't use the photos that I've cut out, I'll just save them for another spread that I might do later on. But yeah, I ended up picking these two photos. And in this spread in particular, I'm kind of building everything around the photos. Sometimes I'll start with a quote, sometimes I'll start with a colour scheme, sometimes I'll start with the photos like I have today. Every time is different. I don't really have like a process per se. I just kind of start with something and build around it. So this time I started with these photos and I really like how the aged paper looked with these photos because the colour scheme really worked and that kind of inspired the rest of the spread. So I played around with the paper, I ripped it, I did a bunch of stuff to make it different shapes, to make it different textures on the edge. I love having ripped aged paper in my journal. You'll probably see it in a lot of my spreads because I just think it looks so beautiful. So after I decided on a rough layout of how I wanted my photos to be placed, I took them off and put them aside and then moved on to my painting because I wanted the painting to be the base layer of my spread, like I wanted it to be at the bottom. So I just mixed a colour that I liked that kind of matched the colour scheme of the photos and the spread that I was going for and just painted random shapes and random lines on the paper. There was no, no process, no reason, it was just kind of whatever I was feeling. I will say that I know the angles in this video aren't the best, sometimes you can't really see what I'm doing, but this is my first time filming a video like this, so I'm hoping it'll only get better from here. I need to figure out how to do that kind of bird's eye view in filming, I don't really know how to do that with the tripod that I have, I don't think it's possible, so I may have to invest in a new tripod. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I don't know if you do, but 
let me know if you do and I can definitely film them for you. These aren't really too hard to film because it's all stuff that I would have been doing whether the camera was on or not. And I definitely love watching these kind of videos. They are very inspiring to me and my spreads as well as just fun to watch and see what other people create. So yeah, if you want to see me do more of these, I would be happy to. After I've waited for the paint to dry a little bit, I move back to doing kind of what I was doing before. So I'm taking that aged paper because that's the next layer to go down and I'm sticking it down. This is a glue tape dispenser. Is that what it's called? I'm not really sure. This one is actually from Kmart, but I know you can buy them from Officeworks, craft stores, a bunch of different places. And I haven't found there to be one that's significantly better than the rest. So in my experience, the Kmart one works fine. And I think it's the cheapest one I've found as well. But I did find that the aged paper was a bit too thin to be using the glue tape with because it is a bit harsh. So I ended up using a glue stick for that on the second page instead. After gluing everything down, I'm just taking an X-Acto knife. Is that what this is called? Look, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not an expert in this field. I just kind of muck around and see what looks good. I'm not someone who kind of teaches people how to do this. So I don't know the proper names for things. But yeah, just take an X-Acto knife and go around the edges to make sure that nothing is overhanging, if that makes sense. Gosh, I'm not very good at this whole voiceover thing, but that's what I did. <laughs> After I've glued everything on, everything's stuck on, all the painting is done, now it's just kind of time for the details. So honestly, at the start of this, I had no idea what I was going to do. I just took my white pen. I get so many questions about this white pen. I'll try and leave the name of it in the description box if you guys are wondering. It is from Officeworks. I think it's about three or four dollars. It's nothing crazy, but I just started outlining random parts of the photos that I stuck on. Again, no method to this, no purpose to this, just doing whatever I thought would kind of look good. So I just started drawing on it. <laughs> I don't think I would be filming this unless you guys had already requested it so much because as you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is what I did. <laughs> and I just kind of keep going until I feel like it looks good. And the last thing that I wanted to add to this spread is just kind of a little quote. So a lot of people do art journaling because it's just a more visual way of expressing their thoughts rather than writing pages and pages in a journal. So it's kind of the same thing, just a different way of doing it. So for me, I often add quotes or words or thoughts onto my spreads that kind of express how I might be feeling at that time. Some of mine are honestly really sad and some of mine are really happy. It really just depends what mood I'm in that day. Like my spread definitely reflects my mood. But this is the quote that I chose for today. Pretty sure it's just from Pinterest. Sometimes they're actually my own thoughts and sometimes they're just quotes off Pinterest. But all I did was take some craft paper and then get a like chalk paint pen and just freehand the quote onto there. I kind of just tried to copy a lot of fonts that I see on Pinterest because I really like how they look. Um, and I actually had to do a few layers of this because it didn't come out as opaque as I wanted it to be. And after that, I just trimmed the sides and stuck it on and that was the final spread. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video like I said this is my first one of these so I know I could improve a lot more if you guys do art journaling I would love to see all of your spreads so go follow me on Instagram and DM me photos of your spreads I already have gotten a few and I love seeing your work I don't think there's a specific talent or skill that you need to do this it's literally just putting stuff on paper until you feel like it looks good and honestly it's just really therapeutic and fun it doesn't need to look beautiful at the end of the day but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you very soon in my next one Goodbye.